Hi everyone, this is Homemade with Love by Loretta and Blaine. I'm Loretta. I'm Blaine. And we've been being goofy. <laughs> As always. Guess what this video is about? It's about finished objects and whips, but guess who finished something? I finished something. The queen of not finishing lost her title. I'll get it she, back. It's okay. <laughs> she finished something? Two somethings. <laughs> Two somethings. And they match. How exciting. These are the waffle socks, mm -hmm. which I can't tell you who the pattern's by at the moment because I just Googled it, but I will Google it again and try to put the link in the description. It's a very easy pattern. The pattern is supposed to go for a long, like, knee sock, but I only did it that high because that's how much yarn I had. So on the front is waffle all the way down into the toe. The back is front post double crochets. So that makes the inside of it this kind of ribbed effect. So it's very, very cushiony when you walk in them. They're really comfortable and really soft. And this is made with my Knit Crate Malabrigo yarn. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love them. I made them to fit me. And they're awesome. And I'm very proud of them. It's my first very pair of pretty. socks. These are my house socks now. <laughs> very pretty. What else you got? That's the only finished thing I have. <laughs> so... Um, the other thing I had would just be um, showing the progress on this blanket again, which is the mermaid tail. Um, I think last time I showed it, I was still on this color of the green. So now I'm in this next color of the blues. And I'm probably a little more than halfway done with that color. And I'm still trying to get it to the length that I need it to make it into the tail. Because this is just the body of it. It has to stretch from um, your waist all the way down to your ankles. I think I've got a few more inches to go. And then I can start closing it up and putting the fin on it. And that will be in another color of ombre. So I'll show this you This is for that. a person that's about 5 foot 2. Yes. So you've got a little ways to go. And this one is also a very easy pattern. Um, it's made in shell stitches. I don't remember where I got the pattern. Because I, I found this pattern probably about two years ago and I took screenshots of it because it was a free pattern so I would have to look it up again to find exactly where it came from but I will try to do that and put it in the description as well so um, other than that what I have been working on would be um, I'm still trying to finish the Amigurumi Charizard I've got just a few more tiny pieces to make on it like little tiny claws and stuff that I hate doing, so I'm procrastinating. <laughs> and then I have started another Amigurumi, the long cat, like I made for Mia, because my niece wants one. And that's pretty much what I'm working on. We did finish something together. Yes, we did. Silas's blanket. <laughs> Silas's blanket. Um, the one that was done on the DK colors in the color of birch. And then... Blaine trimmed it in Yarn Bee Snuggle Up in the color Mink. Mm -hmm. This is what I have left, so you can see it didn't take much. So she started it, but I finished it. Yeah. And here it is. Um, this would. is the one that looks like the V-stitch. It, it feels textured because I, I didn't chain in between. I just did the double crochet twice in there. And then when you go in, you know, the next row, and you push them apart, it looks like the V and gives you some texture. Really, really soft. So now... Since we've shown it to y'all, we can give it to Silas. I'm not going to block it because he's six months old. He's going to play with it and chew on it. And, and stretch it. <laughs> and stretch it more. But it did come out a really good size. It is 37 and a half across, 37 tall. I do want to say something about this mink yarn, though. If you have bad allergies, this is evil. Like, <laughs> when you are using this, if you have allergies, wear a face mask. Because I right. had to, like, keep scratching my nose and sneezing because, to me... I'm allergic to animals, and this was like crocheting with dog hair. But this and is, it's, it's very soft. I love it. It's very soft. It's just it it does fly up in your face. So if you have allergies, I would suggest wearing a face mask or something while you're using this. You stuff. did a simple double, didn't you? Yes, I did just double crochet all the way around in every stitch. And the reason that she helped me do that is because, y'all, I couldn't see it. I, I could not. I tried yeah. several times to get it started. I had to work by feel with this. So, it's very pretty. It's not it's not coming loose to where Silas can break it off and get it in his mouth. Of yeah. course, he'll be watched when he has it. He just likes to grip. He doesn't, my nose now. he doesn't put a lot in his mouth. He just likes to grip. So, that's, um, and we'll watch him with it. And um, 
if this becomes a problem, I can remove it yeah. very easily. For me, it's just because any fuzzy yarn kind of flies up like that. And with that being so fuzzy, it, it did fly up in my face a little bit. I think it's beautiful for our little boy. Um, a lot of people don't like frilly stuff for a little boy. But I spoke to his mother, my daughter, and she loves it. So, um, well, it's not frilly. It's furry. When we finish this video today, Silas will be getting his new blanket. He hasn't even touched it yet. He's going to be excited about that because he loves silky soft. Mm -hmm. um, this is another thing I was just messing around with. I don't play my pattern whatsoever. I got Blaine to look at it. And she said, Mom, there's a uh, shawl in that pattern, which I didn't know because I just started messing around with uh, the yarn. It's, a, it's Flicka in the color Dill Pickle that was gifted to me. And I had very two skeins of this. I did a waffle hat in this a while back. I, I think I showed y'all, but I can't remember. It's already gone. It's already been donated. And um, I just did, I started, you know, my chains in the half double crochet. And then I started doing double and um, skip a space. Uh, I did double chain one, skip a space, double. I'll go across. And Blaine said there is a shawl out there that has this uh, stitch so I'm not stealing in one stitch I just was messing around with it and I wanted something light and airy with this yarn because comfy cotton comfy cotton excuse me if this is flicka which is equivalent to comfy cotton you can even get the same color dill pickle um it's a little bit solid. heavy if you do it solid so I wanted it airy and light it is 80 inches long and I ended the other end with a half double crochet also so it it matches all the way across perfectly and um it fits my daughter Amy that is uh, what's Amy about five eight five nine she's about five eight yeah um it fits her perfectly and comes down um, mid thigh when she puts it around her neck and her shoulders so it would so. come to my ankles <laughs> <laughs> so um and it's kind of wide you can see how that is Amy's a very tall woman for us and and um, she loves it so that may end up at her house you may. And that would be my phone ringing. I'll get that. Sorry about that, y'all. It's life. I'm going to continue this because we are expecting important phone calls. Um, while Blake's in here, I'll just go ahead and let you know what we what we do have. Um, but these are some items that I finished a while ago. I mean, a couple of years ago that uh they've been put up in a tote of jordan's and uh they're actually i made them for rugs for her room so we're actually using them in our room now for her because she loves bright colors this was uh, i believe it was um this is a while ago but it feels like brunette beyond they're playing back um i made her a rainbow you can see right there you can tell where she's been using it some that was a tile but um it's a rainbow to remind her of God's promise of the rainbow. And this is just what I had left. I put one small stripe of each of these colors on here. But it's a pretty good size rug. I'm going to say probably about 40 inches long. Yeah. Probably about maybe 25 across. But that is a rug that Jordan uses next to her bed. Mm -hmm. It is soft and squishy. It is. I believe it was Burnett Beyond. It's almost like having a cushion when you step on it. It is. That's why I, like I had thought about... You need to make one of these for the kitchen. Mm-hmm. The cushion. Right. Um, I thought about that for her rug because it's thick and it will grip the floor a little bit more. The, you know, the heavier it is, the, the better it's going to be for gripping the floor. And I made this one and didn't know what I was going to do with it. Just a square. Out of that Burnett Beyond. This is back when I was first learning to crochet uh, several years ago, I believe. Um, was when I first learned to crochet and uh, somebody had given me a lot of the brunette beyond and there's a that's a It's a knot. It's a knot um, but It's just a simple square. Yeah, that knot I tightened it. Down, yeah, so I'm gonna have to push that back in there y'all Sorry about that, but this is several years old and like I said uh, Jordan's you've been using this for a rug in her room. It's trying to curl right there. It needs to be blocked now um but it's uh, black and then like a khaki green, olive green maybe, brown, burgundy. And it goes on and on and through. It has almost a rainbow effect, but I think it's really pretty. And with that same yarn that I had left, the leftover scraps from that, I made something small. Which these have not been blocked, obviously. Um, it's, you know, the same color coordination as the other. So, 
Um, this goes like a centerpiece yeah, of something. This goes in a, on a chest of drawers, and that one goes in the floor to match. And they're kind of weighty because that brunette beyond is weighty. But again, that keeps you from sliding on the uh, laminate floors, Sorry, no. uh, hardwood floors. Um, There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna jump when they see that in the video, like, "Oh, it's coming at me." This one she does not use in the floor. This is like a bed centerpiece. I love that I had this. made years ago, and I think it's a twelve point star. It's beautiful. Is it twelve? I think so. I thought I made this one. Did you make this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I made one. A mm -hmm. different I made a smaller one. I made one. This was huge, as you can see. It's probably. Would you say? Let me see. It's hold probably it across. Near, four feet across, probably. Probably more than four feet, because it's almost as tall as me across. So it's more than four feet across. Jordan loves bright because uh, that's just the way she is. She loves bright colors. Um, some of it has to do with autism, and um, and she also loves the rainbow because of God's promise of if you know anything about God's promise of the rainbow, that's why she loves rainbow so much. This one she actually does use for a rug. It was in her playroom when she was younger. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit more worn than the rest of them. But she loves it and, you know, wants to keep it. This is a five-point star that I made many years ago. And it's big. It, uh, it is. This is, this is From perfect. point to point is about five feet. Um, I don't remember this yarn, but it's extremely soft. I mean extremely. It cannot be Red Heart Super Saver. It's got to be like something with love. It might have been like Red Heart with love. This has been a while ago. And you can see she has she has it's walked on it. You can, yeah, you can see where she's uh, stepped on it in her room. So, those are blasts from the past. I wanted y'all to see those because I don't think I've ever shown them. You want to go ahead and show them the... This is something we're doing together. You started it and I finished that panel. This is... What cardigan was it called? Do you remember? We'll have to look it up. We, we'll look it up and try to put it in the description. This is the first panel of a cardigan that mom wanted to make. And we're making it in a uh, small size, small or extra small. It's, I think uh, it's an extra small. Sm yeah, extra small. So this is the back panel of it. It's very easy. All half double crochets. Um, we got to look at the pattern to find what's the next step to make the first front panel. But you make it in three panels and then you um, add the sleeves onto it. So this is, what is this called? The that is Karen Cake in the color of Jordan Almonds. Jordan Almonds Karen Cake. So it's yellow it's a big cake. and like a light, or like almost like a gray, and then a very yeah. light blue, it's a little got, bit darker blue, and then white with yellow speckles through it. Yeah, this is a bluish gray, so it's it looks like gritty. three tones of gray mm -hmm. and yellow and, and white. Well, the white has blue speckles in it, too. It has blue mm -hmm. and yellow. It does have speckles. So that's the back panel. At first, I thought that, you know, it was like... A factory reject or something, but that's the way it is. That's how that's, it is. It's that's pretty. how it is, and it's got speckles all through it. It's very pretty. So when we get the next panel made, we'll let y'all know, and I will try to um, find the name of that cardigan and put it in the description. We're gonna try and put all these patterns in the description that I can find. <laughs> okay. Um. This. I don't know what I was doing. I've got another. Karen Cake in the color of afternoon tea. Karen Big Cake. Yeah, Karen Big Cake. I, I love that I color. Apologize. Karen Big Cake. <laughs> there we go, y'all. I love that color. It's a uh, gray with two shades of green. One of them's kind of minty with like a taupe and a cream. It's so pretty. And um, it's almost like a charcoal. I just there. just being tired of working on the blankets I'm working on. Um. I just wanted something different, so I grabbed this out, and I started doing, I just did a chain, didn't even count them, started doing double crochets, and last night when I was working on it, Jordan was watching TV, I just decided, I told Blaine, I said, I held it up here, halfway up my shoulder, and halfway on my chest, and was trying to figure out where it would go, where my arm, and halfway on my body, and I have another cake after this one, but this do y'all think this would look good, or should it be stripes going sideways for a sweater? Like a cardigan? Yeah. Right. And then all I would have to do is do another panel for this side, the back panel, and then the sleeves. Now, I don't know how to do a cardigan. I've always wanted to do one. I can make it work. But after I saw what I was doing, I'm not sure if I want... 
those stripes. I think it would look better with the long stripes than with the horizontal stripes. Y'all tell us what y'all think. I'm a chunky person. Y'all be honest. Is it stripes this way that makes you look slimmer or across? Because I think up and down. Stripes. I'm not trying to look slimmer, but I don't want to look bigger. But I love this because um, it's very, very soft. And of course, with it being double crochet, as you know, you can see through it. And I don't want something that is a shirt. I don't want this directly against my skin, but I do want something kind of lightweight and airy to wear over my t-shirts because I'm kind of chilly all the time. She's cool. I'm cool. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm always burning up. She's so, always freezing. And we are working on our um, Granny Square project for 2020 challenge. Um, we just with a friend of ours. Um, so we just got the pattern established and got going on that a few days ago. So I'm not going to show that yet. Um, we'll show it when we get a little more into it. But we don't have, have much going yet. A little bit of cotton that I found. Unpacking, y'all. We're still finding stuff. A little bit of the Premier cotton. This one's a mess because when we had to go to uh, Jackson, Mississippi the other day, last Friday, for my MRI results to see my doctor, um, I like to work on stuff in the car and I didn't want to take the big blankets. So I made Amy, my oldest daughter, a um, Granny Square dishcloth out of this because um, it's not 100% cotton. I believe it's 55 and 45. Um, anyway, I did nine rounds on it, and I don't have it with me because she already has it to show you, but um, she really needs some more um, wash cloths. Let's see what it is. It's 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and she said she doesn't care what color that, that they are because most of them are going to be in a drawer, and I do try to make the girls something color-coordinated if they want to display them in their kitchen. But so I'm going to be working on her some more dishcloths and some hot pads, which I will use 100% cotton for those mm -hmm. and thicken them up. And her hands are a little bit larger than mine, so I need to go at least on a square. I need to go at least nine rounds. But, of course, on the hot pads, I will do probably the Magic Pot Holder or something where it's thicker. So this would just be a washcloth. But these are also good for face cloths, too. So I'm going to be working these up into washcloths and face cloths and then uh, and dishcloths. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. And doing my 100% cotton for hot pads. I think that's all I have right now. Other than, you know that I, I well, I have the blanket right I have one of them right here. I have the shell stitch of the unicorn uh, where I'm holding two strands together. Y'all are going to have to hold me accountable for this because I admit, I put it up because of, uh, you know, the monotony of just... Yes, the shell stitch is beautiful, but it, it just gets so right. boring. If you're doing something big like me with the mermaid tail, it gets so boring. Right, we talked about that on the previous video of, you know, if you need self-gratification of just doing a hat yes. or a scarf or something. I will do two but, or three rows and then I'm like, oh, um, I want this to be that's done. My, that's my stitch I'm on right now. I have done maybe just one, let's see, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, about seven or eight rows since I talked to you last. And I really need to be held accountable for this because I need to get it finished. And this is from my granddaughter, Lorelai. And also, you know, I'm doing the uh, corner to corner for her sister. Oop, I moved the camera. Sorry, y'all. I know you don't want to be right up in our face. <laughs> Come closer. Um, that I was hoping to get done this past cold season. So, kind of close look cold as in not, you know, I chew cold, but... I don't chew cold. <laughs> cold weather. <laughs> um, but it looks like it's going to be next December, this coming December. But I need to get this finished and the corner-to-corner -corner finish for Novalee. And, and I've got to finish the blanket for their brother. And finish Silas's. I still got a blanket for Silas for um, his toddler bed when he gets older. He's only six months now. So, do you have anything else to talk about Yarny? Um, not really. I think that's about it. Okay. Um, if anybody's interested that has been following us, um, in the, um, health-wise, I'm having knee surgery on my left knee the 24th of this month. By the way, this is a hat that I've had for a long time. Um, if you've watched our videos before with our old intro, which somehow Blaine's computer deleted it, You'll see me holding up a hobium bag. I always wanted hobium yarn, and Blaine was able to buy me some for Christmas in 2018. And uh, this is a hat that I had made out of uh, some of that yarn, and it is just 
double crochet in the round and then front post back post right here and i love it it covers my ears which my hair does too but it controls my hair also when we're going outside and all that wind and static electricity um it's rainy and chilly today so that's what that is and it is so super soft it is kartoku and i don't remember the color which you know is going to be a number but it's gray with like a lime green mm -hmm. line going through it it's, it's really green. pretty it's i really love soft. gray and then but gray is a dull color sometimes and having that little pop of green in there that little lime green is uh is nice to have and does, instead of just being so drab i've got a few hats that i wear but this is my favorite because it's so soft um i love hubby and yarns we're not getting paid to say anything about their yarn i just i, I love this hat um that i made and uh, i still got some of the yarn left I, I may do me a scarf out of it uh to match this hat but as far as health wise um uh, I'm having surgery on my left knee the 24th of this month. Um, my heart's strengthened. My blood pressure's good. I saw pulmonary today. My lungs are doing better. Things are looking up for us, and I appreciate your prayers. Thank you so much. Keep them coming because they do work. I do believe in prayer. I do believe they work. Your heart is doing much better. My heart's doing much better. Um, so everybody cleared me to have the surgery on my knee. Um, Jordan has had a little bit of setback, although her weight is up, which is fantastic. She's up to 97 pounds, y'all. They don't want her over 100, but we are way further than that 89. We don't need to be down there in that danger zone. We're up to 97 right now. Now, that was with her shoes and her little lightweight jacket on, so I'm sticking to it, though. That's my story, 97 pounds. But she's having some issues with her legs, so now we have started a non-narcotic, non-addictive um, pain relief regimen uh, called Baclofen to help relieve the spasms and it's only as needed and um, it doesn't you know make your head swimmy or anything like that doesn't have any dye in it because y'all know she has to be dye free and also with the issues of walking um, you know she does have her wheelchair but we do encourage walking so now her doctor is trying to get her a walker but instead of having one that she would push and make her lean forward to put more pressure on her back and her legs he wants to, her to have the gate, which is, you know, the side behind and beside. So, she would be holding on to it and it would be behind her to help strengthen her back. But her spine has fallen a little bit more to the right. So, Jordan, really needs your prayers. To, we can need to keep her up on her legs as much as possible because we don't want her down in that chair permanently. But the upside, she's she um, uh, really has a good attitude about everything. And she is loving crocheting. She has been crocheting away on a particular item she's working on. Um, she's even, you know, jesting back and forth with a friend of almost like racing with them. Um, it picks her spirit up to know that somebody else is, is interested in what she's doing and, you know, and playing with her on, you know, well, what row are you on? It just, it keeps her going. So she's really enjoying working on that project. And um, as soon as she gets that finished, which could be several weeks, several months, um, we'll get that shipped out. Um, I guess that's, that's pretty much all we have today. I'm sorry. It's been a long time since we've done a video. Do you, you want to talk? I don't want to dominate you. No, I'm just sitting here thinking. I was trying to think of what to label this video because I can't, honestly, I don't even know what number podcast we're on because after all the changes went, that were made yep. um, and we had to make a lot of our videos private and stuff. I don't even know. I don't know. We may just start all over. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My happy mail. You did get a happy mail. See, look at you. Yes, I did. Where'd you put it? I brought it in this room. I'm so sorry, y'all. I've got to reach behind the camera. I think it's in my folder. Where did you put it? Did you leave it in the other room? No, I brought it in here. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Sorry, y'all. Technical difficulties. <laughs> y'all know how we are. <laughs> Sit down. I'll go see if I can find it. <laughs> no, I, it's in this room. No, it's not. Oh, my apologies. Here you go. I got this Retreat today. Like alive. <laughs> I got this today. And it came all the way from Oregon. And it is beautiful. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. Loretta, sending some sweetness your way. Happy Valentine's Day. 
Nancy. I know that y'all know Nancy. Nan's next knots. And she, look, y'all, she made this. She made this right here. And it says, from my heart to yours. Thank you, Nancy. That is beautiful. I love it. I didn't open this because I wanted to open it on camera. I think I know what it is, but I haven't opened it. Y'all Y'all see how I felt it in the envelope. There's something in there. Look at the little hearts. Isn't that precious? She took the time to do that for me. And she sent me her card. That's awesome, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even, I don't want to mess this up. Let's see if I can open this without messing it up. Nancy, that's my birthstone. Like Garnet. That looks like Garnet color. That's my birthstone, Blaine. It? it says made with love. It's a little heart. It's got the it's got the earring back on it. So if you can see that. There it is. Little clasp. Those are easy for my fingers. Thank you so much. Let's see if it'll focus. made with love that's beautiful and the 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 um center right there between the tones it's it's a heart that is beautiful thank you so much and that right that really is like really close to my birthstone which is january that's garnet that's beautiful thank you nancy um if y'all have not been over there to see her nan's next knots go over there and check her out Great channel. Wonderful lady. Thank you, Nancy. I love it. I absolutely love it. Can y'all see that? Beautiful. This right here probably hold me accountable on that blanket. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do, Nancy. I'm going to put that on that shell blanket so that I can show y'all my progress and that will make me work on it because I don't want y'all to be disappointed. Y'all are going to make me finish that blanket. I appreciate that, Nancy. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to say, Blaine? You want to talk about with them? I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I really don't. I don't have anything else going on right now. I'm just trying to finish things, which y'all know is going to take me forever. But I'll get there. I'm going to put that on a blanket right after this video. So that's going to make me show y'all the progress next time. And hopefully it won't be so long for the next video. We've had a lot of appointments and we're trying to get the videos in between. So we thank you so much for being patient. We thank all the new subscribers that have come in. I've noticed the numbers have gone up some. We are, when I looked today, it was at um, 672. And I thank you so much. I thank you for the returning people that have stuck with us. Um, thank you for coming in here and, and being with us for a short time. We really enjoy you. And we enjoy showing you things that we've done. And we enjoy watching y'all. And we learn from y'all too. Um, you podcasters and then subscribers that give us um, tips and advice and things on crochet. We take in that consideration and, and learn from y'all too. Mm -hmm. So don't forget like and subscribe if you like our videos and I will put the link in the description again for our Facebook page. You're welcome to come join that if you haven't already to show us what you've been doing. And um, pretty soon in the, in the near future, we're going to be changing the uh, post office from the town we were living in to where we are now. So if anybody wants to reach us or anything, we will have that in the description box as soon as that change is made. Mm -hmm. And we thank you so much for watching. We love you. Love and hugs. Bye. Bye.